Hey guys, welcome back to the checkpoint for another No Man's Sky video. Now question, what exactly happens when you fly into a black hole in No Man's Sky? What happens when you spot that darkened mass of nothingness in the distance and slip through it? We already know that black holes are confirmed for No Man's Sky, but aside from that, we don't really know anything about their effects on gameplay. So today, we're going to be discussing the gameplay mechanics of black holes in No Man's Sky. So, from my own inclinations and those on the No Man's Sky subreddit, we can assume that there are three forms that black holes can take within No Man's Sky. We have, in order from least to most scientifically logical, a pocket dimension. Now this is by far the most scientifically unplausible. Essentially, entering a black hole in No Man's Sky in this case would throw you into a topsy-turvy alternate reality. Now the best example of this occurring would be within the film Interstellar. Now, if you haven't seen the movie and don't want it to be spoiled, then please leave the video right now because I can't really communicate my idea here without spoiling the movie. You've got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, spoilers. I'm going all out with spoilers. The floodgates are open. Spoilers ahead, people. So in Interstellar, the dude enters the black hole and winds up in a dimension that represents time as a physical object. Now this allows him to communicate with his daughter from a totally different dimension and relay information that ends up saving the human race. So if this happens within No Man's Sky, in terms of scientific backing, it'd be rather sparse. But in terms of art and the wow factor, it'd be absolutely stunning. Imagine entering your own pocket realm, divided from the rest of the universe, where you could see things only you could see and essentially live out as an omnipotent being. It's unlikely this will happen, but I'd honestly... It'd, it'd just be such a marvel and a spectacle, and would undoubtedly go down in the history books as one of the most mind-boggling and surreal gaming experiences of all time, period. Option two would be a wormhole. Now this is definitely not scientifically accurate either, but it would be pretty cool in terms of gameplay. So in this case, you'd enter a black hole and leave another one somewhere else in the universe. It's essentially a random teleportation. This would be cool, but it's a little overdone and we already have teleportation mechanics in the game through the portal scene in prior trailers. Now this could be a way to teleport your ship, but it'd feel a bit recycled if it was to be the case. Now the final and most scientifically accurate would be death. It'd be death, and not a pretty death, a convoluted, messy, and horrific death involving stretching, snapping, and spaghettification. Now before you cry, spaghettification? Steve, are you trying to tell me that flying into a black hole in No Man's Sky will turn me into a bolognese? Let me tell you that, as funny as that would be, spaghettification is a lot, lot worse than that. Basically, a black hole is a clump of matter so dense that not even light can escape its pull. Now if a black hole can drag light in so that it physically stretches, imagine what it could do to your tiny little No Man's Sky character. Well, let's just say that you might survive, but it's going to be a bit of a stretch. So, what do you think we can expect from Black Holes in No Man's Sky? Will there be one of these three options or something I haven't mentioned yet? Let me know in the comment section down below. For more No Man's Sky content just like this, make sure you subscribe. But for now, this has been Steve, that has been No Man's Sky. Checkpoint complete.